Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix black screen issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart Steam. Just restart Steam and then launch the game and then check still not working. The next step is to try these in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties. In the launch option, you can type in dash DX11 and then you can close this, launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can go to properties once again, once again, type in dash D3 D11, and then you can launch the game. Still not working, then you can type in dash DX12, and then you can launch the game and then check still not working. You can remove this and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for Nvidia. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default, express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now, AMD card users can go to AMD website. First of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver, restart your computer and then go to AMD website, select your graphic card and then install the latest driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now, for this, type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then go to graphics settings. Now over here, you can click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed. So in my case, this is the location. So go to the game installation folder, open the game folder. Now open the game folder and then select this exe file and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, uh, you can select high performance over here. And then again, click on add desktop app and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on add again click on this and then select high performance and then check still not working roll back graphics card driver now this has worked for many players so it might work for you i'm showing for nvidia card users you can go to nvidia website now once you go to the website now select your graphic card over here. Make sure that you select your graphic card, select the right operating system and then click on find. Now scroll down and here you can see view more versions. Click on it. Now you can try previous graphic card driver. You can try this uh, right now. The latest one is 572.16. You can try this 566.36. Or for many users installing, this has worked. So let me show you. Once 561.09. Now, not the studio, but the G game ready driver. So 561.09. So you can try this. You can click on view and then you can download this. Now, once the download is complete, you can run the exe file and then but when you go for installation, make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to use DLSS swapper. So you can, if you're using this or you can install it, you can search in Google and then go to uh, open this DLSS swapper. Um, I will not upgrade right now. Find the game in the list. So once you open it, you will see the game over here. So click on the game and over here you can try switch to different DLSS version. So uh, right now in my case, uh, it's uh, uh, 3.5.10. So uh, maybe uh, you can try 
version 3.10.1. You can try this. So switch to just select it and then you can swap it. And then you can check. Now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to. Now you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. Just skip it. But if you're able to launch the game, try window mode, turn off NVIDIA, reflex low latency, turn off ray tracing, turn off DLSS, disable DLSS override in NVIDIA app, turn off G-Sync. So you can try this if you're able to launch the game. So once you launch the game, you can go to settings. And over here, you can see window full screen. You can set it to window mode. Now, if you want to change the resolution, like if this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. And then I will set the frame rate at 660. And here you can see VSync. If this is on, you can turn it off and then check. If this is already off, you can turn it on and then check. Ray tracing, like if it is on, you can just turn off ray tracing. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So turn off ray tracing. And over here you can see upscaling. So I will just turn turn it off. And over here you can see NVIDIA reflects low latency. Turn off this. Scroll down. And here graphics quality. If this is set to epic, you can set it to high. You can e even try medium or you can even go for low quality. And then apply changes. And then check the performance. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. For this you can make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files. This will take you to the game installation folder. Open this Alabama folder binaries win64. Select this exe file make a right click go to properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working then go to properties once again. This time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working then again go to properties go to this tab and then select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on option we say disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply and then click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to Allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, and then go to Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open. Again, click on add an allowed app, browse all apps and then go back and select all the exe files. Select this exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, change settings. Allow another app, click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder, select this exe file, click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse and then select the first exe file and then click on open and then click on add. In my case, the game is already added. So once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to Verify the game file. This is important. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Next step is to delete the config folder. So all the saved settings will be lost when you delete the config folder. To delete the config folder, you can open file explorer and then go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Open the local folder and then open Alabama folder. Open saved folder, config folder. This is where you can find the 
config file so you can just delete this alabama folder make a right click and then delete it once this is deleted now you can launch the game and then check still not working then rename or delete the save game files when you rename or delete the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can open c drive open the users folder open your username folder open saved games folder and this is where you will find a vault folder open this folder this is where you have the save game files so if you want to, before you rename or delete it you can just copy this folder and maybe paste it to the desktop once you have this backup i already have a backup once you have the backup for the game now you can simply rename it or you can just delete this folder dot old once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download this x86 and x64 version so download this x86 and you can run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button click on install click on yes to allow now download this x64 file now again if you see you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button click on install so install both the both x86 and x64 once installed you can close this and then you can restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to restore automatic tuning in nvidia app so you can go to nvidia app if you're using nvidia app then go to system then go to performance over here you will see the restore option if this is highlighted restore it and then launch the game next step is to now this is for amd users install this optional amd update so you can just uh, go to google in google search you can just type in md optional update 25.1.1 go to md website and over here you can see md 25.1.1 optional update click on it and then you can run this exe file and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to close all the overclocking application like if you're you if you're running msi afterburner or if you are running Reva Tuner. So if you have any kind of overclocking application, so you can just close it. So you can just make a right click, close MSI Afterburner, close Reva Tuner. Or if you are running any kind of other overlay application, close it and then check. Also, if you have undervolted, you can be able to remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game now if you have any other overlay application running like uh, if you have discord running go to discord turn off overlay if you're ge force if you're using ge force experience turn off overlay now if you're using nvidia app you can go to settings over here and then turn off nvidia overlay and then launch the game or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all razor peripheral software running on your computer now if you're using i don't have emd card if you're using emd card and if you have adrenaline app you can disable this emd fluid motion frames too so you can go to app and then if you have this emd fluid motion frames too enabled over here you can disable it and then launch the game next step is to try automatically manage paging file now for this you can just type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then go to view advanced system settings click on the first settings go to advanced tab click on change and then over here put a check on the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives and then click on ok apply ok apply ok and then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working in that case type in view advanced system settings once again and then go to the first settings advanced tab change uncheck this box select the option which says system managed size and then click on set click on ok it will be asking you to restart your computer so make uh, hit apply click on ok ok and then restart now restart your computer and then launch the game still not working 
increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the bios so go to system manufacturer website and then select your model number Make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS and then install the latest BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. And also update your Windows to 10 or Windows 11 to latest version. So go to Windows Update or Update in Security and then click on Check for Update. And once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Um, you can just update your windows to the latest version you can type in winver in windows search box right now the latest is version 24 h2 so update your windows to the latest version and then launch the game now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using so if you have OTAs, wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected which you're not using disconnect it disconnect additional controller if you have extra controller connected disconnect it disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party software or services running close it and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can just make a right click on the game select manage now click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel